What's going on, everyone? It's time for another Stephen King horror film review. Today, we're going to talk about Christine. It was released by Columbia Pictures, December 9th, 1983. It was written by Bill Phillips and produced by Richard Colbritz and directed by John Carpenter. Now, for some reason, you don't know who John Carpenter is. He's He did The Thing. Halloween, They Live, Escape from New York, and a whole pile of others. This is uh, definitely in his lower point of his career where he was just like looking for work and stuff. So Christine, it's a Stephen King story, obviously, about a killer car <laughs> where a young teenage guy, Arnie, gets a uh, Plymouth Fury and uh, his dream car, and he... Uh, starts picking up girls and stuff. He's the dorky guy in the beginning, but then he starts getting girls and everything like that. But then he gets more obsessive with his car as he goes on and on, and the car lights him back. And so, yeah, there's people start getting killed and stuff. And, uh, yeah, it's very dramatic. <laughs> yeah, this film is unique. It's nothing too special or anything like that. It's very little tongue-in-cheek corny in some parts and stuff. The cinematography is a little dated in this, I think, but it still works. It definitely has like a little cheaper feel, but it does have the old-school Carpenter feel. So if you love old-school Carpenter films like Halloween and uh, things like that, oh, like how back then, or even taking the poem 1, 2, 3, or um, Escape from New York and the way it's shot, this is done in a similar way. And uh, it's sort of like a teen coming of age movie, which is a little odd. It is a little slow in the beginning, but for the most part, the characters do a good job at uh, maintaining balance in this film. There's some good uh, practical effects and everything like that. It's all good. The acting's okay, and uh, overall, I thought the film was pre is pretty fun. Decent. It's kind of long, but uh, yeah, if you're into this like stupid little <laughs> silly little. Uh, machines coming to life killing people type of stories and stuff like that um this one is pretty amusing it's a little odd but it's still pretty fun so um yeah overall i thought it was a decent film but it's by no means the perfect best stephen king film or anything like that or best john carpenter film it's just a good amusing popcorn like so i'm gonna give christine a three out of five um, if you want to check it out, I'm not sure where it's streaming, but I'll link the trailer down below, like always. I'll also link down below is my screen where I always post clips of films I'm going to be in the future on my story. You film the hashtag, some don't film the hashtag, so be aware of it. Also, my letterbox down below, JP Reviews, that's where I post my first star reading after watching the films. And my toys down below, below at reviews underscore Derek. So follow me on those platforms, then loop this channel, like this video, share some more people where they comment your opinions on the film down below if you have any. And also let me know what your favorite Stephen, Stephen King film is. And, uh, yeah, make sure you subscribe. Hope you bought some weird here and all. They probably never thought of checking that together. And I'll see you in my opinions. I'll pop the films with more classic films and reviews and other things as well. And don't forget to ring that bell because we're going to do a sequel. I think I've reviewed the first one, but we're going to do the second one. The Last Exorcism Part 2. I heard it's really bad, but I'll be the judge of that. So tune in for that one. And, uh, you know, watch out for all those killer cars. Not really Plymouth Fears, because there's not very many of them around anymore. And I guess I'll see you all in the next review. So until then, cheers.